how to harvest and dry a lemon balm. So if you've got a big patch of lemon balm in the garden, you can cut as many stems as you like to try and dry the lemon balm for herbal tea. Always try to cut above a leaf node. Here I'm cutting above the first set of leaves. But you can, honestly, you can't kill lemon balm, so you can cut wherever you want, above the first leaves, the second leaves. Sometimes I cut it right down to the ground. I just use normal pair of scissors, you don't need any special equipment. And when you feel like you've got enough lemon balm leaves, take them to an area where you can just set them out on the ground, as there's going to be lots of creepy crawlies, bugs, spiders, ants, and this just allows them to all crawl out of the bunches. Now you can start measuring some twine, string or wire and this is what you're going to use to wrap around the stems of the lemon balm and it's going to secure it tightly. Now you want to start checking for the backs of the leaves where as you can see you might find some white slimy patches now these are I think little nests spider nests little spider babies inside so go ahead and pick off the leaves look for caterpillars and also look out for brown mottled leaves if there's a lot of mottling just pick them off and put them back out into the garden start bringing the stems together you don't want the bunch to be too big as it won't allow for air circulation and it's a breeding ground for mold and then you want to wrap the stems tightly using whatever you're using twine or string or wire wrap it fairly tightly as when they start drying the stems will shrink and then they will the whole bunch will fall onto the floor and that isn't what you want And when you've done that, you can make a little hook and that's what you're going to be using to hang them up. Hang them up in a cool dark place with plenty of air circulation. 